Welcome back, Quill Pack, to another Godot tutorial. I know I have Blender pulled up, but today we'll be going over exporting. Now, before I actually start the video, I just want to apologize for not uploading Friday. I had just gotten off of work at 7, and I wasn't focused enough to actually make a video and have it up before noon. So that's the reason there was no Friday upload. Um, as for the video, we have two animations. Come down here. We have a loop, a walk cycle, and a loop. Sorry. A walking loop and a wave. And I'm just gonna save real quick and get rid of that third animation. There we go. We have a walk loop and a wave. If I was to go to that wave and play it. That's all that is, and then the walk loop. Simple walk cycle. Um, really the only thing you need to know from this is you have to be in the dope sheet, the dope sheet editor, and we have to be in the action editor in order to have multiple animations for one armature. Now what you want to do is come over to the, uh, list editor, is that what this is called? Come over to the outline, hold control, and s select your armature. That's going to select the actual mesh and the bones. You're going to export, better collider. Um, we're going to select only the armature and mesh, selected objects, export animations, and all actions. Everything else should already be checked. And I'm just going to re-export this over the character that I already have. And when you come over to Godot, it'll start to import. And then you can just drag and drop it in. And if I was to press this denoting that it has animations we're going to select new inherit it has an animation player and I can actually play the animations and you notice the walking loop that we have set it actually loops by itself whereas if I play the wave it only plays once and that's that's pretty much it guys um, Importing isn't that hard. I was running into troubles using Mixamo, which is what I used for my animations. I tried to use a character from their website as I'm working on a game, and it wasn't working. I figured out that it had something to do with the way that the model was set up, because I made this simple model. It imported perfectly fine. Um, I made a model in Make Human, and that imported well. So it was just that mutant that I was trying to use. Um, if you're not sure or if you're not confident in animation I will post uh, Mixamo down below as well as Make Human. Make Human is good for making your actual characters whereas Mixamo is good for animating them if you're not too hot on animation, 3D animations. But that would be it guys. I will see you in the next video.